Hello everyone, we are discussing the methods of measurement of liquid water transmission through textile material. So, in last segment we have discussed about the weighting phenomena, measurement of weighting phenomena of textile material. Now, we will be discussing the wicking. So, after weighting of fiber, when the liquid reaches in the capillary, a pressure is developed and that actually that force, capillary force weaks helps in transporting the material through the capillary the uh, liquid through the capillary and the wicking as we have already discussed for measurement of wicking we need a particular fluid to simulate the human sweat. We cannot directly use the water plain water or distilled water. So, the liquid actually the water when it is a mixed with 2.5 gram NaCl per liter of water that actually closely simulate the human sweat as far as the wicking trans performance is concerned. And also the temperature of the system should be kept around 35 degree Celsius which is close to human skin temperature. So, like weighting the wicking also has got specific terms to express. Okay. So, there are different terms which is used for wicking. So, amount of water wicked A W W wicked it is a gram per gram of fabric determines the wicking capacity of fabric away from the absorption zone. So, that is a it is transporting the liquid from one zone to another zone. It is in terms of the gram of liquid transported by gram of fabric. Surface water transport rate S w t r it is a gram per gram per second calculated based on the amount of water wicked by 1 gram per fabric per second. So, 1 gram of fabric how much water is wicked per second it is expressed in terms of S w t r surface water transport rate and wicking time it is the time in second for water to wick across a specified distance. The distance here is 3.25 centimeter, it is a fixed distance. For that distance, what is the time required for a particular fabric? So, that 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 is in second. So, for comparison, one can take any of these values. So, the term spontaneous transplanner or transverse wicking are used when the transmission of liquid through the thickness of the fabric which is very important it is a perpendicular to the plane of that. So, there are basically three types of wicking are there one is vertical wicking which is against the gravity which uh, the liquid wicks vertically another is trans uh, in plane wicking which is along the plane another is the transplanner which is across the plane. So, across the thickness of the fabric. So, all three wicking types are important transplanner is basically important for the fabric the clothing because the water needs to get transmitted from inner layer to outer layer one surface of the fabric to another surface of the fabric. So, evaluation of liquid transfer transmission is basically it in two terms I have uh, two types it is in two stages we have discussed already first stage is first stage is a weighting 
that is initial uh, process that we have already discussed the method of manufacture uh, method of testing we have discussed and second stage it is weaking. So, now we will discuss the evaluation methods for weaking. So, there are three types of weak that we have discussed transplanar or transverse weaking, in plane weaking along the surface along the plane of the fabric and vertical or longitudinal weaking. So, in plane weaking is always also termed as horizontal weaking. So, this weaking the, there are the three types of weaking are shown here. So, here this is the fabric it is shown and the water is supplied from the bottom, bottom of the fabric and here the water gets transmitted from bottom surface to top surface. So, across the thickness it is uh, transmitted whereas, in in plane wicking water is supplied from the bottom, but at a particular point in transverse wicking water is supplied at total throughout the surface throughout the area cross section of the fabric and it is it gets transmitted to the other surface. But here our idea is not to that not that water to transmit in the other surface it is idea is that water to transmit horizontally. So, water is supplied from the at the center point okay. and vertical wicking is basically it is a this is the fabric sample and here the water reservoir and when fabric is in actually when it is a fabric is in touch with the water, water gets wicked okay, through the capillary channel vertically. So, that is why it is called vertical wicking. So, the in transverse waking uptake of water across the thickness here the along the thickness here uh, along the uh, surface here also along the surface, but the direction is here in vertical direction. So, these three measurement techniques we will try to see how to measure. So, first we will see the transverse waking technique. So, horizontal stain sintered glass plate is kept moist by water supply. So, one sintered plate with a perforation it is kept horizontally it should be adjusted to keep the water level at the upper surface of the fabric. So, water level has to be keep kept in such a fashion that it should reach at least at the upper surface of the plate. So, that when the fabric is placed on the sintered plate sintered plate means there are holes there. So, water comes in terms of a droplet form which simulates the sweating, sweating it is a skin. So, as when we place the fabric it is in touch with the fabric surface in bottom surface is in touch with the uh, sintered plate which is moist and water is getting transmitted through the throughout the thickness fabric can be kept over the sintered plate to the water to water. So, uptake of water is measured by suitable method. So, as soon as we keep the fabric on the sintered plate which is moist. So, as soon and it will fabric will try to weak the water water will be taken. So, the methods which normally is used one is the movement of meniscus another is the loss of weight of water that is in the from the reservoir what is the loss of weight that can be measured or movement of meniscus if we know the, the cross section of the tube that we will discuss now. Contact of the fabric throughout the area can be ensured. So, that the fabric when is it is placed the fabric should be in touch with the sintered plate throughout the cross section otherwise the bubble will be created it will interfere the wicking characteristics. So, what we have to do after placing the fabric over the sintered plate we can plate uh, place a, a plate non porous solid weight we have to solid plate we can place over the fabric. So, that there is proper contact at the bottom surface of the fabric 
Now, if we see the diagram, here it is a this is the diagram, here it is a constant supply of water, okay. constant supply of water and after th that this sub water uh, there, there is a sintered plate. Okay. This height of this water supply water is that can be adjusted, so that the water level is just above the sintered plate. So, sin top of the sintered plate is always in moist condition. So, that we have to adjust uh, this height. So, we can lower or uh, we can raise this height and uh, this is flexible tube. Okay. After that our test fabric is placed. When test fabric is placed, the water above the sintered plate is actually will be weak through the cross section, whole cross section and this weight that is plate. Uh, not it should not be very heavy light plate is placed over same cross section is placed over the sintered plate over the fabric sample. So, that there is a constant its contact is maintained. Now, let us see the animation of this instrument. This is the situation this is the water okay, blue color it is a and this green color it shows the sintered plate. So, height is adjusted so that the top of the sintered plate is moist, the water is supplied. Okay. Now, after that we can see the fabric sample is placed on this, this is the fabric sample is placed on the sintered plate, then the light weight the same area it is placed so that it helps in proper contact. Now, now the wicking start across the plane okay, thickness and as it is weaked the this meniscus will will be actually the it is absorbing so meniscus will move. So, this movement of meniscus with the time can be noted down. So, this is the way measurement of the transplanar or transverse weaking. Okay. Now, in place of this meniscus, we can have another arrangement which will actually siphon out the water and that reduction in mass can be noted down. This is the term. Here, Although this is uh, the in plane wicking system, but here the same this portion earlier this here it was a meniscus. So, this portion has been replaced by this here. The water is placed here and this is the micro balance, electronic balance is there and as the water is wicked, the mass of the water is reduced. So, that can be noted down it is connected with the computer. So, with the time one can get the transverse wicking. Now, in plane wicking the fabric is in plane wicking here this is the in plane wicking setup. Here the fabric is placed no sintered plate over plate of at the center there is a hole. So, the fabric is placed on horizontal base plate which is connected to a siphon tube. This is the siphon tube on wh with which this uh, plate is connected. The fabric is covered with a plate to ensure intimate contact with the base plate. So, that similarly the another uh, plate will be there cover plate which will cover the fabric. So, that proper contact is there with the base plate. Movement of fabric is placed it starts wicking. So, that is and the movement of water is measured that is a transmission of water along the plane is measured by this electronic balance. So, moment the fabric is placed it starts wicking of liquid, wicking can be measured by measuring the uptake of water by fabric sample that is how much water is it is uh, taking or by image processing technique that is the that uh, area of water 
it is a um, that is area of water can be actually measured by taking the images okay. and in that case one can use the um, some uh, colored water. So, that uh, it can be uh, image can be taken and uh, the proper shape of water transmission for front can be measured ok. That, that is called radial advancing fluid front can be measured by image processing. So, here the problem is that problem here, here there may be error due to the one extra layer of air. So, the problem is the possibility of arising air bubble which uh, might be trapped in the fabric or between the plate and the fabric. So, when the two plates are placed between uh, between two plates of fabrics are placed. So, between bottom plate and fabric and also fabric and top plate there may be air gap created. Also there may be air bubble inside the fabric. So, two extra capillaries may be created one is between bottom plate and fabric another is between top plate and uh, fabric along with that extra air bubble inside the fabric may interfere the flow of liquid which may create the error which may generate error. So, that this uh, we have to take care of this uh, uh, phenomena this is uh, schematic diagram here. So, water is being supplied through the siphon tube and as the water gets transmitted. So, this height we can adjust here as the water gets transmitted the mass of this liquid changes reduces that is that is actually uh, measured. Uh, vertical wicking is that it is a simple technique it is a by visual method we can measure the sample is hung vertically into the reservoir filled with water. Certain amount of load is kept actually it should be it should hung at the lower end. So, that fabric is kept in the straight condition otherwise there will be some wrinkle. Vertical wicking of liquid is measured by visual observation of movement of liquid along the sample that is the height which what is the height it is uh, reaching by by the visual observation. Sometime it may happen that the color is it is not visible in that in uh, clearly. So, that some uh, dye uh, may be added to enhance the visibility and also microscopic obs observation can be made. So, to get some accurate result this is the vertical wicking setup here it is a reservoir the fabric straight some one some weight can be then hung behind here and this is the scale. Now, try to see now here this fabric is it is putting the fabric in the reservoir as soon as the fabric is in contact with the water. So, water will start wicking. So, one can get a plot the time versus wicking height by visual observation. So, this is the technique or microscopic technique can be used. Main problem with this measurement technique is that it is a visual that manual in nature manual error can be there. Another problem is that in case of very thick fabrics like nonoven when the liquid is not flowing evenly throughout the thickness cross section. So, if the liquid flow is through the inside of the uh, surface in, uh, thickness in a particular it is not coming in the surface then measurement technique that this type of visual technique is not useful. In that case we have to use some other techniques. This, this technique is useful mainly for very thin fabric. Okay. So, this manual measurement is simple visual observation of travel of liquid front and manual recording. 
chances of manual error is there. So, image processing also difficult particularly for uh, porous material like thick material. So, we cannot uh, see the actual travel of uh, liquid front. So, based on the looking at all this uh, problem a method has been developed by in uh, Hong Kong Polytechnic University that is a moisture management tester which actually evaluates the moisture management property by uh, that uh, resistance principle ok. By measuring the electrical resistance of fabric or yarn. So, as the as we know the dry fabric has got higher resistance than the wet fabric liquid has got raised very low resistivity. So, that using this principle the electrical resistance measurement technique is being used to measure the wicking characteristics. So, when the fabric is there is no liquid water is there. So, we can measure the resistance and as the water fabric is filled with water. So, the resistance becomes very low. So, depending on that one can measure the wicking characteristics. So, electrical conductivity of water is 18 times that of air. The liquid wicks along the sample electrical resistance get reduced. Rise in liquid water in the sample can be triggered an electrical circuit. So, as soon as the water is, uh, is uh, rising through the fabric electrical circuit gets completed and it will actually be indicated by glowing LED lamp ok. That will show that particular uh, that rise of a particular uh, that liquid at, at that particular height ok. So, distance of rise as a function of time is determined. So, with the time one can determine the function uh, distance. So, here in moisture management tester the principle is variation of contact electrical resistance of the fabric with transport of moisture. So, it depends on the component of the water and water content in the fabric. So, that the resistance will uh, change the specimen held flat at the at certain pressure ok. Top and bottom sensors are there computer dynamically record the resistance change. So, as uh, when water is supplied so automatically computer change the dynamically the change in resistance ok between each couple of proximity metal ring. So, there are uh, number of metal rings are there. So, these are the different proximity metal rings between top and bottom layer. So, that will add rings individually at top and bottom sensor. So, it measures the, the change in resistance and the water flow it can measure. So, there are some other instruments available which actually measure the wicking characteristics based on resistance and capacitance principle. So, the principle is that first method is that uh, the proposed idea is based on electrical resistance offered by fabric in wet and dry condition. Dry fabrics are poor conductor of electricity whereas, wet fabrics are good conductor. Weighted fabrics conduct some electricity because of the water ions present which acts as carrier of electrons. So, what due to presence of water and so it electricity flows through that wet fabric. So, when the textile fabric comes into contact with water it will start wicking. So, wicking will be started and the presence of water reduces the electrical resistance of the fabric and will start conducting the electricity and circuit will get completed. The principle is exploited in detecting the water travel front point. So, that at certain time what is the water travel front that can be measured. The schematic diagram this is the schematic diagram here. So, here what happened here number of electrodes. So, electrodes at various known heights are been created here 
and these electrodes are connected with the circuit basically supply. As soon as suppose the water is, is reached here, this electrode at this height will that get the current okay, and the it will send signal by glowing the particular LED light at that uh, showing that it has reached at that particular height. So, this can be connected with the computers uh, computer also to get the automatic result. Okay. So, as a result so as soon as it uh, reaches the LED corresponding to that circuit glows. So, there, there are different circuits are there. So, uh, elect, uh, the LED at that particular as soon as it reaches that at that height that particular uh, LED will go glow and indicating that water has reached to that particular height. With the help of microcontroller the time gets stored automatically. So, at that uh, at what time what is the time to reach to that particular height. So, time versus wicking height can be displayed. Okay. This is the circuit diagram here these are the LEDs to show that uh, the it is one particular LED is corresponding to particular height. Okay. If we see on the other side, this is the side here these are the different at different height when water reaches a particular height okay, then through the fabric this particular suppose it is reaching here this circuit will get completed and immediately the the LED will glow here it will show that it is the particular height it has reached. So, automatically it can be measured using the principle of resistance. Okay. So, this instrument has been validated the repeatability of test consistency of testing. So, at different time it has been repeated and uh, it has been observed the instrument is giving a correct result. So, it is uh, at different height and time. So, it is measuring and the same sample has been tested repeatedly. So, it gives uh, repeatability and also this is the different fabrics has been made. It has observed that the difference in result obtained by the two methods was not significant. So, that at different uh, uh, methods like a, like a visual method has been tested. So, so, the same fabric has been tested visual principle and using this uh, method that uh, resistance method same fabrics. So, it has been observed that both the methods are giving exactly same result very close there is no significant difference. So, we can say that this instrument is working perfectly and the same principle was used to measure the in plane wicking also. So, here again similar techniques are used, but at the center point there is a an electrode is there from where the liquid is been transported liquid is been supplied at the center this is the at the bottom plate and over that the fabric is uh, placed and these are the electrodes. So, one, one two three four so eight electrodes are placed in a particular at a particular distance. So, along the in a concentric circle one you one can place uh, in a large number of electrons the de electrodes depending on the requirement but in this instrument 8 electrodes were placed. So, that at least at 8 direction different direction of uh, liquid flow one can measure. So, liquid is being supplied at the center and as it gets transmitted suppose the liquid is uh, transmitting it is not say it is uh, symmetrically it gets transmitted asymmetrically. So, this is if it is say in uh, lengthwise direction if it is transmitting lengthwise direction it at faster rate. So, it will reach at this point first okay, before this it is reaching here. What, so, if as soon as it is reaching here the this this will show that okay, this is the at this angle particular say 0 degree angle or say 90 degree angle. So, this at this angle the when uh, the circuit is completed one can show the direction of the liquid flow. Okay. So, it consists of a circular block of insulating material. So, on the insulating material suitable electrical circuit was uh, developed which sends the in plane flow of water. The water was supplied to the center of the fabric sample 
as soon as the water reaches to a specified point, the electrical circuit is completed and the signal is transmitted to the computer. So, at different direction. So, this instrument gave uh, uh, the asymmetric direction flow at the rate of flow at different direction it gives. So, it, it shows it gives the lengthwise direction, it's not, it, it cannot give the, the mass of water transmitted, but it is the length of water transmitted it gives that time versus water front point was plotted in real time. So, that so one can see as soon as suppose it is so it is uh, transmitted. So, here water front is in this fashion. So, in this fashion if it is there, so that the electrode here and at this point will glow. So, this is the this electrode it is glowing this. So, one can see the direction of uh, water front flow in plane wicking tester. So, if we see this is the type of well. So, here at the bottom we have the this electrodes ok. As soon as it is uh, touching at the center there is a electrode. So, immediately the this LED will glow and also this data can be stored in computer. So, next uh, instrument is based on the capacitance principle ok. Here this is uh, say top plate ok and this one is a, it, it is a bottom plate here it is a top plate. So, so th there are 8 different capacitance plate ok capacitor. So, these are the capacitor plate parallel plate capacitors are being created. So, these plates are there similarly on the other side there are two symmetrical plates. So, and in between the fabric is placed. So, this these are the plates 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 direction is it can also measure. So, once the fabric is placed in between this plate this these are the insulating material and only the plates are this strip metal strips are there one can place. So, once the fabric is placed in between, so fabric and uh, the uh, this plates there will be uh, 8 different parallel plate capacitors will be created. So, flow of liquid through porous material capacitance due to the capillary action it will lay. So, this is the way the water gets transmitted. So, as soon as it starts the water is this is a water front gradually this water front will increase this is a water front is increasing like this water front in. So, we can we want to measure the water front travel ok. So, this is the top plate the this is inner view this is the outer view of the top plate the in the inner view the top plate. So, this is the inner view. So, here the plates that is uh, strips or metal strips are placed uh, this uh, basic material of the top plate is the insulating material ok. Similarly, the lower plate at the lower plate the same it is a basically the uh, at the same uh, it is a size and shape it is placed and here again the same metal strips are placed here. And the difference between top plate and bottom plate is that here in the top plate there is a there are slots here present at different place slots are present here the projections are at four different points. So, when the and at the top plate another point is that at the center there is a hole. So, that water gets actually we have to supply the uh, water here. So, as soon as the on the top plate the on the bottom plate the fabric is placed then the top plate is placed and so that to ensure that pro proper uh, the parallel plate is uh, actually um, created. So, we have to that this top plate is placed actually at the exactly at the hole. So, that the proper uh, parallel plate is created. So, 1, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 parallel plates will be created and then after placing the water is being supplied through the center and as the water flow flows throughout the uh, this uh, plane, the capacitance of the plates capacitor plate capacitance of this capacitor this they will form a parallel plate capacitors. So, 8 parallel plate capacitors will be there created and as the water flows through that the capacitance of this capacitor will get changed. Initially there was a dry plate dry uh, fabric. So, as the water flows so that uh, depending on the uh, amount of water traveled or length of water traveled the capacitance will get changed. So, this so the capacitance depend upon the three main parameters dielectric constant of the material, the area of the material and distance travel. So, hence in general capacitance equal to k multiplied by a multiplied by the static permittivity of the material divided by the distance of the material the, that is the thickness of the material. So, that if we know all these parameters and we can measure the capacitance. So, this is the principle basic principle underlying principle is that initially suppose this is a plate this is this one is the dry material and d 1 and d 2 are the thicknesses of the plates top plate and bottom plate and d is the thickness of the material. So, total thickness we can measure okay. and at the dry condition without any water content we can measure the reference capacitance of the material that has to be measured and another system is required in this principle calibration. We have to actually measure the capacitance of the completely wet fabric. So, completely wet fabric that is one uh, uh, value the capacitance of wet and capacitance of dry 100 percent dry material and depending this two reference value as soon as the water flows through the fabric the change in capacitance value can be recorded and with the some equation one can measure what is the distance travel by the water. So, this is uh, the basic principle x is the distance travelled by the water and L is the total distance. So, remaining distance dry fabric is the L minus x d 1 and d 2 are the thickness of the plates d is the thickness of the material fabric w is the width. So, using all this data one can calculate the initial thickness initial capacitance with the dry material which is m. So, one can uh, and similarly, so if we see the weight material it is completely weight if we want to measure capacitance 1 by capacitance of weight we using th this is the standard for way and m is the it is a constant constant for that particular system without any material. So, d 2 d 1 so, without any fabric. So, we if we do not use any fabric this is d 1 bottom plate this is top plate of the capacitance capacitor. So, 2 d 1 is used as the when there is no fabric no water nothing. So, this is the constant m is a constant for the particular system. So, to eliminate that constant. So, this weight when it is completely wet we can measure the capacitance value and k value we can measure. Similarly, for measuring the reference another reference which is dry. So, k dry we can measure and using these two values okay, capacitance of weight and dry and actual capacitance value what we are getting that from there we can measure the length traveled. So, by using this equation that x value we can measure x is the length travel in the water front. So, for at we have at present in this instrument we have 8 different parallel plate capacitance. So, we can get different x value for different uh, capacitance uh, capacitor plate. So, we, will, we can get the complete plot 
online okay at real time we can plot this online that is a real time plot of capacitance um, that uh, water front throughout the through the fabric and the most advantage of this uh, instrument is that we can measure the total flow at any thickness irrespective of the thickness we can measure the capacitance. So, from very thin fabric to even very thick non-woven fabric we can measure and this also the x value it is uh, it gives the what is the uh, amount of uh, what is the length of the water travelled that can be measured. So, this is the instrument here. So, this one is the bottom plate and this is the top plate and in between we can place the fabric. Let us see the uh, one uh, video clipping this is the prototype which has been developed in the laboratory. So, this is the top plate okay. this one is the bottom plate and with this slot one can place these are the capacitance plate similarly at the bottom these are the capacitance plate okay. and with this slot one can place so that proper there is no shifting of the capacitance plate okay. proper capacitance uh, uh, that capacitors are formed. Now, this is the way and now the fabric samples, fabric samples any fabric samples can be used. Here it is uh, showing the thick non woven fabric and Another advantage is that it, it need not be the exactly the same. So, one even we, without cutting the fabric we can use. So, it is a non destructive type testing is there. So, we have to place the uh, fabric on the bottom plate and then top plate has to be we can use. So, this is the bottom plate and top plate is placed on that. And after holding, and we can use some load also to eliminate any what any air bubble and any space extra space. Now this is the water supply. So we can control the uh, water supply depending on the requirement. The controller is there, and as soon as the water supply starts, the computer screen will show the water front. The water controller is there. Now, this is the water travel point. So, at different time with the time at different direction how the water is flowing that can be measured. Okay. This principle this is the uh, instrument which is up and after every test we have to basically wipe out the excess water and then so to keep uh, it uh, the to eliminate any error. Similarly, the same principle is being used to measure the vertical wicking where the capacitance plates are in vertical direction Ex principle is exactly same. Okay. So, then uh, signal amplification circuit is there. So, to get the exact value of the uh, water front. So, now we have uh, completed the liquid flow through the fabric. In uh, next class we will start the moisture vapor transmission related character uh, related phenomena and how the moisture vapor gets transmitted through textile material. Till then thank you.